Hi, this is a handwriting warm-up video. We're going to practice and make perfect one letter today. Make sure you have something to write on, like a piece of paper, a scrapbook, or maybe a mini whiteboard, and something to write with, like a pen, a pencil, a crayon. Pause the video and go and find those things now. Now that you've got your things ready, you can make sure your hands are ready. Put your pointer fingers up like this and bend them and straighten them a couple of times. Now link them together and push them away from you. Stretch your fingers a little bit. See if you can make a wave like this too. Oh, and the other way. All right, I think we're ready now. Today when we're doing our handwriting, we want to write with our page landscape. So not this way, not portrait, because we'll run out of space really quickly. We want to do it landscape and then we'll have lots of space to write across the page. The first thing we need to do is draw the margin down the left hand side. So that's kind of like the tree trunk. Like that. Then we're going to draw three lines or three branches coming from our tree trunk. So the way I get them to all be kind of equally spaced is I start with the one in the middle. So if you do the one through the middle first, then you look at these two spaces and you try and go in the middle again. So the middle of that space and the middle of that space. Then, up in the corner, the top right hand corner, I'd like you to draw a little sun. It doesn't have to be big, but it just helps us to know which way our letters are facing. Last thing we need to do to set up our page is to draw our butterfly eggs. We draw our butterfly eggs right by the margin or the tree trunk, sitting on the branches, because this is where the butterfly, in case of the caterpillar, the story, thinks that the eggs are going to be safest and not fall out of the tree. Pause the video so you have time to set up your page like this. I'm going to show you some pictures and listen carefully to the first sound to see if you can work out which letter we're going to practice today. Ring Robot Robe Rose Racket Rain Rhino. What sound is at the beginning of all of these words? It's the R, the letter R. Here we have our two R's, so we've got our capital R, so it's a tall letter with a tall stick and a curve at the top and kind of a straight bit leaning over at the bottom. Then our lowercase R, the one we're going to practice lots today, starts with a short stick and then it goes into a tunnel but it stops halfway through. That lowercase r is the one we'll practice lots today because that's the one we write the most. Remember we only use our capital letters at the start of a sentence or for somebody's name. The first shape we need to practice to write the letter r is our short stick shape. Now short sticks always start at the top and they start at that imaginary dotted line that's halfway between the lines. So we've got to imagine that line and then we're going to start our short stick there. We start there and we go short stick and touch the branch that it's sitting on. Short stick, short stick, short stick. This is a good one to practice your finger spaces. Make sure the space you're leaving between each shape is about the size of your finger. Short stick, short stick. Short stick, short stick. On the next line, we're going to practice our tunnels. That's the next shape we need. Now remember, in the story case of the caterpillar, the tunnel is made by the leaf that's curled over the branch. And in case of the caterpillar can see through the tunnel. So the tunnel starts on the line, it goes up and over and stops on the line. Like this, up and over, tunnel, like that. Tunnel. Now in the letter R, it's the tunnel shape, but we don't finish the tunnel shape. So watching really carefully and watch where I stop the tunnel. So starting on the line, we go tunnel, stop, 
Look, so I've just gone just over the curve about halfway and then stopped the tunnel. So starting on the line again, tunnel and stop, tunnel and stop, tunnel and stop. Now when we join those two shapes together, we've got short stick, keep our pen on the page, tunnel, stop, halfway, short stick, short stick, tunnel, stop. Or you might like to call it a half tunnel. Short stick, tunnel, stop. Just like that. That's our letter R. Make sure it's sitting on the line. Short stick, tunnel, stop. Short stick, tunnel, stop. Now we need to find our best shape on each line. So when we're doing the short sticks, we're looking for one that starts halfway up on that imaginary dotted line, is nice and straight and touches the line that it's sitting on. That one there is good. When we're doing our half tunnel, we're also looking for it to sit on the line. It should have a nice curve and not be too tall. Remember, it's just a short letter. So maybe that one there is my best one. Then when we join it together to make our letter R, we're looking for letters that don't go above that imaginary dotted line, that are sitting on the branch and have a nice curve on them. Hmm, I, feel, I like that one there. In the next part of the lesson, we're gonna write a sentence with lots of letter R's in it. I'm going to razzle dazzle my whiteboard so that I have space to write a sentence. Pause the video now and make sure you have space to write a sentence too. Alright, tarting is turned on. I'm going to say the sentence two times and then you can have a go at writing the sentence. Are you ready? Rose ran over the red rug. Rose ran over the red rug. Let's read our sentence together. Rose ran over the red rug. Oh, lots of R's in that word, sentence. Let's check we've got our capital letter, full stop and finger spaces. So capital letter should be at the beginning of our sentence. This is also a name, so that would have a capital letter even if it was somewhere else in the sentence. So we've got our capital R there. We've got our full stop at the end of our sentence. And between each word, we have our finger spaces. Let's count up our lowercase r's. There are quite a few in this one. One, two, three, four. Do you have four lowercase r's? Make sure they're small letters. So in the word ran and over, Everything is the same size. So the R is the same size as the A and the N because those are both small letters too. In the word red, the only tall letter is that letter D with the tall stick. And in the word rug, the only hanging letter is the letter G with the hanging possum tail. Everything else is sitting on the line in line with each other. Awesome work today with your handwriting. See you in the next handwriting warm-up video. Bye!